Want to hear some New Year's resolutions? Well, I've got six of them. So here goes. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. It's Friday. Of course, you've all been looking forward to this. I hope you've all had a wonderful new year. As you can see, I'm back at uni. So in this week's video, I'm going to discuss six of my New Year's resolutions with you so that it gives me some motivation to try and keep them for the year. So number one is to spend some quality time with people that I haven't really been spending quality time with and I also need to spend some quality time with myself because that is something that I don't always do as well so I think I need to get working in that area especially. I have some really good friendships that I think I'm starting to lose out on a bit now so that's why I do want to go and get back because I feel like I don't want to lose them but it's so difficult sometimes when you're so far apart. That's kind of the reason that YouTube videos are a good way of getting people to connect back with each other because it's like kind of having a conversation with you apart from I'm doing all the talking. My second New Year's resolution is to make sure that I do enough social activities and general activities and one way I've been doing this is through my karate but I feel like I need to make sure I don't lose social connections because again with the workload of uni I feel like sometimes you kind of put social life second well some people do at uni I think some people then again put social life first what I mean by putting making sure I do social activity is to try and make sure I do as much social activity as I can. What it doesn't mean is that I will do things religiously every week or whatever, but if I've not got anything going on, that's when to do it. If I've got like loads of coursework to hand in and things, then no, that is not a uh, suitable time to be socialising. My third New Year's resolution will be to make sure I use my time more productively because I feel like last term I didn't really use my time as productively as I could have. Uh, so yeah, I need to start doing that. Uh, make more use of the library and things. Try and get a video edited and sorted. Make sure everything's done because I've realised that that is an area I'm starting to lack on. The fourth thing I've decided to work on is actually to try and better myself by going into some language skills and whether this is just my general English or whether it's learning a new language there or going back on a language I think it's something that will help me relax from my general work but it will still keep me quite productive and I thought you know why don't I just better myself this year it's 2018 I can do something good I'm going to be 20 this year I'll give it a good shot. My fifth New Year's resolution, and I'm sure you'll all be interested in this, is to try and keep on top with my videos. Last year I didn't, and it's something I do regret, and I really want to make sure I try and get a video out as much as possible, because my life can be very interesting. I want to get the message out there that actually I'm just a normal person, yet you can go and do so much that you want in the world. And I feel like sometimes I don't really discuss that with YouTube, so maybe that's the next thing I need to start working on. The target is to try and actually get up 52 videos this year, so that's one a week. That would be a good target to go for, and I don't know whether that's going to be possible, because currently at the moment I'm in the middle of exam season, and I've got an exam on Monday and an exam on Tuesday, and I've just had an exam yesterday. It's not always possible, but I'm going to try and keep to that target. And I love making videos, so why don't I take a bit of time off during exam season and have a bit of time to myself. Finally, my sixth New Year's resolution is going to be to work hard and push myself through all my abilities. Because, again, I don't think I've been necessarily doing that. And it's something... I know I've got a lot of potential. It's just that sometimes I don't know whether I make full use of my potential and it's something I really want to make sure I do this year. Well, that also means that I'm going to make use of all the opportunities I get. I have been lucky in the last year to have so many opportunities and I really want to make sure that I use those opportunities this year. So, reach for those stars. 
If you're not British, you probably don't know what that means. So this video hopefully will mean that I'll actually stick to my New Year's resolutions. And I really hope that in December or in a year's time with this video, I can turn around and go, yes, I stuck to as many of them as were possible. We really hope so. If you have any New Year's resolutions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below or you can tweet them to me on my Twitter and Snapchat, uh, which are located just there. That's a good transition, that is, yeah, well done. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you have enjoyed it or you're going to follow me for my New Year's resolutions, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure if you're new or an older viewer, you click that bell notification button with the little ding to be notified when I upload a new video, which of course is every Friday at 4 p.m. UK time. If you want to have a look at the other times, that will be listed on Google. There we are. Last week's video, of course, is at the end, and there is also a great little recommended video for you all, so please go and check them out. And finally, I wish you goodbye for this week. I should see you next week, because although I've got exams, I've got a bit of a break, and I've got some ideas of what I'm going to do with my time when I'm recording a video. So, uh, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?